Okay, so I'm Karl Jansen. I'm working here at DAISY. I'm doing theoretical particle physics and my role today is um, as the coordinator of the DAISY summer student program in Zeuthen. So DAISY offers a summer student program every year. Uh, we have two sites. Um, here, is, here we are at DAISY Zeuthen, then um, our big mother institute in Hamburg. And um, this year we had a record of 117 summer students. They come here for eight weeks, both in Hamburg and in Zeuthen. And they are following lectures in various areas like astroparticle physics, high energy physics, accelerator physics. And of course, they work most importantly in the groups here, in all the groups that I mentioned, in particle physics and so on. So they have a project. Um, they have to finish this project um, within these eight weeks they are here. They have to provide a report, at least here in, in Daisy Zeuthen, and they give some presentation in the end. Uh, my name is Leili Hoynaski. I'm a third year student of physics at the National University of Ireland in Galway. And um, I wanted to join the DAISY Summer School to uh, basically develop a bit of experience uh, working with a theoretical research group. And uh, the, the institute here at Zoythen has quite a heavy uh, theoretical uh, group research um, basis. So um, I chose to, to apply here. The group I'm working with um, uh, ma mainly deals with how particles are accelerated in the remains of exploded stars, which are called supernova remnants. And um, there are several processes within these by which particles can be accelerated. But then on their way to Earth, these particles are then decelerated. And so when we measure the incoming particles, we need to take into account how particles may have been slowed down on their way to Earth. And uh, one of these mechanisms is called inverse Compton scattering. And uh, it involves the interaction of electrons with photons. And these high energy electrons, which have been accelerated in these remnants, interact with background photons and lose energy. And uh, this is a Feynman diagram depicting that process with time axis going up. I think working for the DAISY Summer School has been a wonderful opportunity. I've been able to develop uh, my programming skills, which are possibly uh, my weak, weak, weak point. Um, and also I've learned quite a lot about uh, particle physics and other fields that I may not have considered before and have certainly opened a few doors in terms of what I'd like to do for my master's and PhD. I'm Alex Metrovelli, I'm from uh, Russia. Uh, I, I'm studying at Moscow Physics Engineer University, uh, getting a master's degree in nuclear physics. Uh, so I joined summer school this uh, year, well, to make some experiments, because most time I'm working with uh, simulations of different things. So now I'm working in this lab and uh, I'm doing measurements uh, of the diamond detectors. This is the heart of the device. Um, it's measuring the diamonds uh, by putting uh, high voltage uh, from the button to the diamonds and um, uh, we irradiated them by the source of radiation. It's over there, it's strontium. Uh, usually measurements take maybe for two hours per each diamond, but now one diamond is, uh, can be done in half of an hour. And it's really a new level of detections. And uh, it's, mm, it's really great to be on the sort of cutting edge of uh, technologies and physics. And uh, well, these diamonds uh, will go, I think in two months, most of them will go to LHC back, they will be uh, installed again on the detectors and uh, will work during the next session. My name is Xiang Xiaoyu and I'm from China. Uh, I'm an undergraduate student from the Tsinghua University and uh, I want to be a physicist from, uh, from uh, when I was a very, very little child. So, and this is a very famous institute on the cutting edge of the nuclear physics. So mm -hmm, I just joined, uh, joined it as a summer student. Uh, yes, most of the time I'm tr trying to test the modules. Uh, the core, they are really new newly built it, and uh, uh, most of them, uh, most of the features, uh, we know nothing about the most of the features. Like what, it, what this uh, module, in fact, they are made of different layers. Uh, you see from this is the silicon and the uh, copper layer and some captains. Uh, to glue these different layers to each other. So when we should operate uh, 
uh, the layers in the climate chamber, it will create a temperature varies from uh, minus 40 degrees to uh, 70 degrees uh, above the zero. So we, we could we could monitor the mechanical features of the module during that environment and monitoring some the electronic features like the noises um, through different temperatures. I'm Ashkan Nalbanzian, I'm from Armenia, and uh, I'm studying nuclear physics at Yerevan State University. I'm doing my master's degree now, it's the first year of my master's degree. Why uh, did I use this program? Uh, actually, I wanted to have some experience, you know, to be involved in, in a real physics project and uh, do some measurements, some experiments and uh, also improve my programming skills. So all of that would really help me in my future uh, works and studies on physics. Uh, here in this I'm working with PITS group, uh, it's a photo injector test facility and actually what's doing PITS, PITS is improving um, high quality laser um, sources for flash and European free electron laser. And um, my work, my project, it's uh, connected with stabilization of laser beam of 3D ellipsoidal laser systems, which they are going to apply here at PITS, uh, I guess, next year. So uh, this is the laser. Here are diaphragmas for focusing beam, and here are mirrors. Um, and this is the camera. You are monitoring laser beam position with camera and uh, you are using these mirrors to bring the laser beam to its initial uh, state if it somehow for some reasons had changed it. Because uh, for our experiment we need to keep the laser beam uh, on its initial position during all the, all the experiment. So my name is uh, Piotr Deren and uh, I'm from AGH, uh, University of Science and Technology in uh, Kraków in Poland. Yeah. Well, this is, this is the uh, ATLAS group and we're working um, with the ALPHA experiment. Um, and basically what we're dealing with here is um, track reconstruction, which is um, mm, basically um, using data which has been collected by, uh, by the detector and um, using it to, to um, predict or confirm some um, theoretical results. Mm -hmm. The main thing we do here is coding. We're working with the root, um, which is a C++ framework, and uh, we are doing. Currently, we're we're doing uh, quality assurance uh, macros, which is just uh, testing whether the current uh, algorithm is uh, sensible. Very, I'm, I like the summer school very much. Uh, I mean, it's it's been a great time here uh, for the past I don't know four weeks already. It's been. I mean, it doesn't feel like four weeks. It feels much shorter. It, it really went by really quickly and. Uh, uh, the people are great here and, and uh, the work is fun and uh, I really enjoy Berlin and uh, we've been to Hamburg as well and I mean I, I'm really enjoying my time in, in Germany. Uh, I'm Letitia Adkins, I'm from the University of Manchester in uh, England. Uh, I just, I did, I wanted to be uh, a summer student because I just really enjoy physics and I wanted to have a really hands-on experience. Um, which you can't get in a lot of places, it seems. The field I'm working on at the moment is uh, with this neutrino detector, and I'm working on the taxi array, uh, which is going to be used um, to just do R&D for the ice cube experiment. This is a digital optical module which is used in the ice cube experiment and it's made up of PMTs uh, that record the Cherenkov light that neutrinos create when they interact with the detector. And this can be used uh, to send a signal uh, to the top of the ice cube experiment um, and tell us whether we see anything interesting. Uh, my name is Rafa Mestre. I come from the University of Granada. I was studying physics there. And I joined this program because I wanted to have some real work experience of what a physicist do in a laboratory or in, a, in an office analyzing data. 
Ah, because it's something completely different from what we do in, in university. Yeah, uh, this is one of the telescopes from the CTA project. This is the project I am working on. Uh, it's a huge international project of more than 25 countries, and this is also collaborating. And uh, this is a prototype of the of one of the telescopes they want to set. They want to build two arrays of telescopes in the north and the south hemisphere with our, around 100 telescopes. Uh, okay, this is just the mirror of the telescope. Light comes from, from the atmosphere, reflects in the mirror, and this is the camera. And here is where we get the image, and we process the images in the, te in the, in the computers, and then we obtain some results. Well, the CTA project is still under development. They still haven't set any, any telescope. So they are just working on which is the best configuration of the telescopes. They want to have different kind of arrays, and they want to know which, which array is the best one for each kind of observation that they want to make. And my work is to analyze which is the best array and which kind of telescopes we should put in order to get the best performance for a, a blind survey of the sky if we want to observe new sources that haven't been discovered, and, and just working on simulations to see which one is the best configuration. I really like the summer school. At the beginning, I was a bit afraid because I'm working in gamma ray astronomy, which is a field that I haven't really studied a lot in university. But it turned out to be really, really interesting. And my supervisor and everybody is really helpful here, and they're all the time trying to help you. Um, we're doing very interesting things, um, also uh, improving my programming skills and physics skills, and it's really, it's really good. Yeah, the program is very international. So for example, here in Zeuthen, we have um, 20 summer students. They come from four different continents. Uh, we have people from China, from New Zealand, from Armenia, from Indonesia. Um, so really all kinds of people come here. We have people from Spain, from Italy. Yeah, so when the students arrived, since I play guitar myself, I offered that um, students who are interested um, play together with me and other people from, from Zeuthen. We are actually a, ten, a group of 10 people now. Um, and that we organize a little concert towards the end of the summer student program where we play at the moment about 13 songs, mainly jazz, but also classics. Um, and the other students are then asked to prepare an international buffet dinner where everybody cooks something from their particular country. Very important aspect is that the people live here on the campus in Zeuthen. So they are together, basically day and night. So this naturally forces some activities they do together here. Uh, if you saw the surrounding in the picture, this invites for having some, some grilling events or simply sitting at the lake and having a beer. But of course, they also go together to Berlin. We have a direct S-Bahn connection. They, they go to museums or to clubs. They go to bars, to restaurants. Um, but this is mainly at the weekends because they really focus on their work. And during the week, uh, I always see them here at DAISY working on their projects. Okay.